Workers who rely on ferry service had to find another way to work today. Workers who operate the ferries walked off the job. KPI X5's Linda Yee tells us the striking union says the Golden Gate Bridge District is not bargaining fairly. Linda? Well, Ken, take a look behind me. I am standing in an empty terminal parking lot behind me. The idle ferry sitting and docked right behind me. That is not a usual sight on a Friday night. They have been in contract negotiations since July, but they're stuck on a very big issue, an issue we've all heard before from another high-profile negotiation session. Remember BART? Well, it has to do with employees being asked to contribute more money into their health plans. Ferry captains as well as support staff and deckhands have been working without a new contract since July. Talks are stuck on pay raises and the bridge district's requirement workers contribute more money into health benefits. But they want to have health care concessions and we don't want to agree to that. More contributions. Exactly. It seems to be what a lot of people are asking for now, not just not just your union. Yeah, I think that everyone can relate to that. Um, and keep in mind that the last three contracts these members have had have all had concessions on lower wages or no wages, on lower health care uh, quality or higher health care premiums. Here's the district's contract proposal for ferry captains, a 9% pay raise over three years, but workers must contribute another 2.1% of their salary into the health plan on top of the 5% they already pay. The union wants a raise of just over 11% over three years and an additional half percent worker contribution to health benefits. The bridge district says its ferry captains are the highest paid at a base salary of $83,000 a year, they already get $7,000 more than captains at the other two ferry services. And in addition, our benefit packages are better significantly than their colleagues on other ferry systems. As in any negotiations, there's got to be room to give. Is there any room here? There's been negotiate. There's been movement on both sides already. Well, based on the numbers we're seeing, they are still far apart on the issue. But, Ken, they are due back at the negotiating table on Monday. All right. Linda E. reporting live from Larkspur. Thank you, Linda.